Calvin Au has been found not guilty of assault causing bodily harm, but guilty to the lesser offense of assault. It was April 26, 2021, when the off-duty Toronto police officer took Chad Facey, who was 19, to the ground after the teenager tried to sell Au's partner a fake Apple Watch. Au's defense was that he intended to arrest Facey, but the judge found that there was no evidence that that was his plan. Chad Facey posted an ad on Kijiji for an Apple Watch and negotiated a price of $400 with Toronto Police Constable Gurmag Benning. The two agreed to meet at 45 Iron Shield Drive in Brampton to do the transaction. Court heard Benning asked Calvin Au, his partner, to accompany him, given he viewed Au as more tech savvy and wanted him to authenticate the watch. The two off-duty officers wearing plain clothes drove to Brampton and met Facey in the parking lot of a public school around two 30 p.m. on April 26, 2021. Benning bought the watch before realizing it was fake. After Facey took off and a five-minute foot chase involving Ao, Benning caught up with Facey and got his money back. Benning testified Calvin Ao, without saying anything, took Facey down, believing Ao did not know he had gotten his money back. Facey ended up on his back. Ao, who took the stand in his own defense, testified he did not know Benning got his money back, and the purpose of the takedown was to get the money and to arrest him. But he never told Facey he was arresting him nor identified himself as a police officer, which the judge found problematic. Benning called 911 and told the dispatcher about the Kijiji deal gone bad before the off-duty officers drove off. According to the facts, friends noticed a bump on Facey's forehead around 5 that afternoon. Facey later died that day in hospital, but according to the facts, the Crown is not in a position to allege that Facey's death was caused by the interaction with Ao. The judge said that Ao had the authority to arrest Facey, but never told him that he was an officer, nor told him about his plan to make an arrest, despite ample opportunity. She also found that the Crown did not prove beyond a reasonable doubt that the bruise on Facey's forehead was a result of the takedown. A sentencing hearing is planned for January the 6th. Catherine McDonald, Global News.